Of snow continues to pile up. The focus on staying safe is heightened. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw continuing our team coverage now with a look at how some of these devices are making it safer for search and rescue, too, Jen. Yeah, Tony and Christina, there really are devices out there that can save your life. But at the very least, like we saw during this tragedy in Tahoe, crews were actually able to find the snowboarder based on a safety device in his clothing. Back a little bit, heels gonna be tough. For 38 years, Land Park Ski and Sports has been outfitting snow enthusiasts. Try to get a couple trips in every year. But safety is just as important as the boots you're buying. Um, it can be incredibly dangerous. You can find yourself in a scary situation really quickly. Aiden Lee worked in Tahoe for six years too and says losing someone on the mountain hurts their whole community. I mean, it's tragic. Nobody wants to hear that. Uh, we all want to go out and have fun. Which is why companies are making it easier to stay safe without trying. This RECO is what can potentially save your life. RECO designs a tracking device that's stitched right into its gear. So it's not actually battery powered, it's just simply a mirror. A handheld device used by search and rescue crews worldwide sends out a signal that bounces off the mirror, allowing them to locate victims significantly faster. But on Friday morning, crews found the snowboarder on the mountain. Unfortunately, it was too late. It's extremely devastating. Aiden says adventurous skiers should also be equipped with a beacon, a device to help find buried victims. Personally, I have multiple friends who have been saved by these devices. Um, avalanches are a part of skiing, and unfortunately, you know, they do happen. The weather this weekend, he says, is a perfect storm for powder and avalanche danger. And the snow freezing, then it's snowing on top basically creates a huge slab that's going to slide. He says many will take the risk anyway, hitting the slopes for a record breaking snowfall. And the avalanche risk is considerable, according to the latest advisory from the Sierra Avalanche Center, so be careful out there. Yeah, every little bit helps, no matter what, when you're hitting the slopes. Mm -hmm. Jen, thanks. thanks. Uh, the